You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, new treatment options for people that have periodontal disease. With us we have Dr. Gordon Wilson. Dr. Wilson, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you, Randy. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, before we get into today's topic, uh, and we've had you on the program before. Correct. A lot has changed, by the way. I guess you've treated hundreds of people, Probably thousands, thousands of people by then. Since with then. Uh, periodontal disease. Correct. Is this your focus? I mean, is this what you like to do? This is probably about, this is definitely the majority of my practice. Um, I would say I probably do about 60% um, treatment of gum disease. The other 40% is doing cosmetic dentistry. So who is your typical patient that you see? A typical patient for me might be somebody age 30 on up who has uh, red, swollen gums, maybe they're... I mean, that's a big sign right there. It's the biggest sign, yeah. Bleeding, okay. is, bleeding is the biggest sign. Um, you know, maybe they have bad breath. Uh, maybe they haven't been to the dentist in a while because um, they've been told they have gum disease and they just don't know how you to... You say there's a lot of people that have been diagnosed with gum disease or periodontal disease and then they do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. What, what uh, you know, they don't go to a dentist to have treatment. Well, What's think, the fear? What's the problem? Yeah, I think the... Um, the three main reasons that we typically hear in our office is that uh, they just maybe they didn't know that they had gum disease um, or when they found out that they had gum disease uh, they were afraid to do anything about it or they just didn't know what to do about it. For people with advanced periodontal disease the standard procedure is surgery. Correct. So they cut away the gums they, and they, they will, scrape. Correct. They'll, they'll they make do? an incision. All right. They'll separate the gums from the bone in the tooth so that they can get direct access to the tartar okay. to remove the tartar, okay, which again is the source of the infection. So they want to get that tartar off of there and then they'll stitch it back together and probably put a periodontal dressing on it or something like that. Okay, the other option, that's one, is surgery. What's the other option? There are several other options. Um, the, the primary one in my office is a patented procedure known as LANAP. And okay. what we do with LANAP That's is, a laser? That's using a laser to go in and selectively remove the diseased gum tissue and kill the bacteria that are causing the, the infection. Is this they virtually this a bloodless more. surgery then? No. Is it even called a surgery? It, yes, it's a surgery. Um, but it really doesn't seem like a surgery because it's so minimally invasive. And so we've got, I've got thousands of patients who are uh, coming in to see me to have their gums treated and they're coming back after we've treated them to do our periodontal maintenance appointments and the bleeding is gone, the swelling is gone, the bad breath is gone, you know, and, and the gums are healthier and the patients are happier. So you have patients that dealt with bad breath for 10 years plus, mm -hmm. bleeding gums for many, many I've got, years. I've got people who come in all the time and, and um, so often they'll come in and they'll say they haven't been to see a dentist in probably five to 10 years and so, you know, there, there are a lot of different issues going on in their mouth besides just the gums, but of course we're, we're gonna focus first on the gums, get the gums healthy because we wanna get a good foundation. Once we've got a great foundation and nice healthy bone, nice healthy gums and the teeth are now solid instead of loose, now we can build on so that. So loose teeth become a little stronger? Loose teeth, uh, yeah. They after a periodontal treatment? After my LANAP procedure. Okay. What, what happens is um, somebody will come in, and I, I cannot tell you the number of people who have come in and said, you know, the dentists want to take out six teeth or eight teeth or whatever. And, and we'll go in and we'll treat them, and they keep all their teeth. We're treating people with lasers. We also have a, a new system that's a, a, a patented um, appliance where we put a medication in there. The appliance directs the medication directly to the source of the infection and it, it allows the patient to now take command of their disease uh, and we're seeing even better So it's better like a medicine results. that treats the that, disease. You know, I would kills say the bacteria? Kills the bacteria almost as effectively as the laser. Now, sometimes there's so much bacteria in the gum tissue, the, the gum tissue is so laden with bacteria that, that I still have to go in and use my laser. But I can tell you right now, I, I'm not using my laser nearly as much as I used to because I found that these new trays can, can actually treat the disease uh, up to six millimeters without the need for my laser. And that means more comfort for the patient. Uh, it means faster healing time. Less and, expensive. And, and less expensive and, and patients are, are much happier. Periodontal disease, you have to think of it like diabetes or heart disease, okay? There is no cure for it, but you can control it. Well, how often do you have to get treatment then? In my office, you get treatment one time, and then you go on these periodontal trays, and that helps you maintain it, and, and you know, we're seeing, we're seeing the bleeding go away. We're seeing the swelling go away, the bad breath go away, the pockets, the, the, the decrease in, in depth and number. I mean, if well, the laser is killing the bacteria, right. cleaning it up. You know, medicine is not an exact science. And so, so it does get frustrating for me, and that's why I went and sought out these, these perio trays, because now what I'm finding is that even what I'm doing is I'm using the laser. So combination therapy. It's combination therapy. I'm using the laser in conjunction with the perio trays, and, and I'm getting even better results still. You know, the bleeding is now 
almost completely gone. We're going to take a quick break. We come back more about the process for people with gum disease. You're watching the Wellness Herald, leader in medical news and information. We are here with Dr. Wilson, and we're discussing what you need to know about periodontal disease. We'll be right back.